I've been talking about animation for a fairly long time here on YouTube, and I've been a fan of it for as long as I can remember. And in my years of researching different canceled animated shows, there was always one show, or I guess an episode of what may have been a show one day, that simultaneously caught my attention and scared me off. That show was the 2006 rejected pilot called The Amazing Screw-On Head. This strange title mixed with the creepy artwork made me assume that this was some dark, grueling story about a nightmarish robot. I mean, just look at some of these stills. This is a gothic, steampunk world with very sharp and unique character designs. There's no way this could have been anything but an action horror thriller, right? Pardon me if I say poppycock. Then say it. Poppycock. This is a comedy, a somewhat dark comedy for sure, but still a comedy. And I guess it goes to show you that if you're researching old pilots and canceled TV shows, it sometimes helps to actually watch them because I had absolutely no idea what this show had to offer. And now that I do, I am kicking myself for not checking it out sooner. The Amazing Screw-On Head was originally a one-shot comic book from the creator of Hellboy, Mike Mignola. The story of the pilot follows the Amazing Screw-On Head taking on his former servant, now known as Emperor Zombie, who is planning on unleashing an evil demigod. Screw-On Head is of course given this task to take on Emperor Zombie by none other than Abraham Lincoln. And if you haven't realized it yet, this is a very strange premise and a very strange pilot on the whole, but good god, this is one of the funniest, coolest looking pilots I have ever seen, and I am genuinely shocked it wasn't picked up for at least one season. So today, I'm gonna go into what makes The Amazing Screw-On Head so fantastic, and why I think everyone who is a fan of adult animation should check out this pilot. So, as I'm sure you can tell from the fact that Abraham Lincoln is in this show, Amazing Screw-On Head is set in a fictionalized steampunk version of 1800s America, which is a really fun and unique setting that fits well with this art style. And for only being about 20 minutes long, I'm surprised at how well-defined this world is, and especially how well-defined the characters are in Amazing Screw-On Head. First, there's the titular Screw-On Head voiced by Paul Giamatti. Screw-On Head is set up as a sort of superhero working for Abraham Lincoln. He has the ability to screw his head onto different robotic forms to fit the various situations presented in this steampunk world. He comes across as a little naive, but incredibly earnest in his pursuits to stop his former servant, Emperor Zombie. Speaking of Emperor Zombie, he is voiced by David Hyde Pierce, which gives the character an incredibly unique feel. Having an antagonist that looks like this, but sounds like this. You know something I don't know. Who's there? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I thought I was clear. You know something I don't know gives Emperor Zombie so much more character and personality than I would have thought this character design would have had. Emperor Zombie is super funny. He's set up as this incredibly intelligent and dangerous character, but once he's introduced, it's revealed that he's a somewhat childish goofball. Emperor Zombie is definitely still a formidable antagonist though. He's bested Screw-On Head in the past by turning his former lover against him and killing Screw-On Head's former servants. He also does something so uniquely evil that it made me immediately fall in love with this world and this character. Emperor Zombie has the ability to smoke his enemies. Like, he packs them into a bong and smokes them, and by doing so, he gains all of their knowledge. That is so goddamn cool, 
and especially evil. But what makes Emperor Zombie even more interesting is his motivation. As I said earlier, Emperor Zombie was originally Screw-On Head's servant, and as a former servant, his master plan is to unleash an evil demigod and relinquish his position as Emperor to this incredibly powerful being. Emperor Zombie is trying to elevate his position in society not by seizing control of the world, but instead by giving control of the world to someone far more powerful than himself so that he can serve them, which is just so perfect for his character. He's jealous of the fact that Screw on Head replaced him after he turned himself into a zombie, so he kills a slew of his replacement servants, and in his mind, there's no better way to stick it to his former friend and boss than by pledging his servitude to someone far more powerful than Screw on Head. In this single 20 minute episode, they were able to set up an incredibly unique relationship between Screw on Head and Emperor Zombie, but they leave a lot of things unsaid so that there would have been more to explore later. Screw on Head and Emperor Zombie's relationship is so compelling that it overshadows the other stellar characters and performances in this pilot. Patton Oswalt voices Mr. Groin, Screw on Head's most recent servant. Molly Shannon voices Patience the Vampire, Screw on Head's former lover. And Corey Burton voices Abraham Lincoln. And while that character needs no introduction, Corey Burton certainly does because he is perfect for this role. Get me Screw on Head. For those of you who don't know, Corey Burton is easily one of the most accomplished voice actors of the last 40 years or so. He played Hugo Strange in the Arkham games, Cad Bane and Count Dooku in the Clone Wars, and over 400 other credits according to IMDb. Chances are, if you've seen an animated show in America, you've probably heard Corey Burton's voice. And he is just so perfect for Abraham Lincoln in this show. Honestly, I don't know how Abraham Lincoln sounded. I haven't seen many movies or documentaries about it, but this is his voice in my mind. There's just something about it that fits so well with the way Abraham Lincoln is drawn also in this show. I just love it. Everyone's voice fits their characters perfectly. So Screw on Head has an all-star voice cast, as well as just an all-star cast of characters that all feel well-defined after just this 20-minute pilot. Stack on top of that a witty and goofy sense of humor, and you've got a recipe for a great comedy series. But what makes Amazing Screw on Head stand out from literally all of the other adult animated shows I've seen in my life is its accompanying art style. This show is downright gorgeous. It's dark, gritty, and stylized. This art style would have been perfect for a gritty action thriller, but the fact that it's in service of an action comedy is what makes Screw on Head work so well as a show. This steampunk version of America with these strange characters could easily be seen as goofy with another art style, but the dark tone of the animation makes everything a bit more believable. And thanks to the show's sense of humor, it never feels dour or depressing. The world of Amazing Screw on Head is very serious, and the characters are very serious about what they are doing. And that's what makes the comedic aspects of this show work so well. It is kind of goofy. It is inherently weird that there is a screw on head that lives in a mansion and it's not explained and he has servants and he works for Abraham Lincoln. That's all incredibly goofy. But the fact that the characters don't think it's goofy and the fact that the world around them is portrayed so seriously is what makes the comedy work. If they were acting like what they were doing was funny, then it wouldn't be very funny or interesting to the audience. But the fact that they are so dead serious about this world that should seem goofy to us makes the world a little less goofy and the comedy a whole lot more funny because they don't realize how ridiculous they sound sometimes. Yes, it's as I always say, all really intelligent people should be cremated for reasons of public safety. This one singular pilot episode for the amazing screw on head is so perfectly put together in every aspect 
that it is amazing to me that Sci-Fi Channel did not pick it up for more episodes. Originally, this pilot was greenlit by the Sci-Fi Channel and put up on their website, accompanied by a survey asking fans if they wanted the show to be picked up for more episodes. And sadly, Sci-Fi decided not to pick up Screw On Head. And the reasoning behind it most likely came from a supposed lack of interest, though I wasn't able to find an official reason. So it's still kind of up in the air as to why this show wasn't picked up, but that's the safest assumption. And it really is a shame that this show wasn't picked up, but with how popular adult animation is these days, I feel like there's still hope for it to get another opportunity. But this attempt at Screw On Head from 2006 was just so perfect, from the casting, to the music, to the animation, that I really don't know how a more modern take would turn out. The Amazing Screw On Head was easily one of the biggest missed opportunities in the world of adult animation that I have ever seen. And even though there were no episodes produced after this pilot, I'm still really glad that we got a glimpse into what could have been with this strange, bizarre, hilarious world. If you are at all interested in Amazing Screw On Head, the entire pilot is available on YouTube for free. And the comic book is available online, though you will have to pay for it. I have not bought it yet, haven't read it, don't know a single thing about it other than what I've seen in this pilot. But good God, am I excited to take a look at that. Because if it's half as good as this single pilot episode was, I will be satisfied. I have genuinely fallen in love with this world and its characters after seeing them both for only about 20 minutes. And I am confident many other fans of adult animation will feel the same way. So please, if you're at all interested, go and check this pilot out, check out the comic book, and let's all hope that one day the amazing screw on head gets another opportunity at having a TV show. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please consider liking and subscribing and all that great stuff. It does really help out the channel. If you don't, that's all well and good. I'm just glad you checked out this video because good God, I feel like this one isn't gonna do very well because it's pretty, pretty niche. Uh, and I know I'm really into it, but I'm starting to think, especially after finishing recording it, that not many people are gonna be into this. So I guess, I guess time will tell once I'm done editing and putting this one together. But if you made it all the way through, thank you very much. It is much appreciated. Quick housekeeping thing. I am going to be moving here at the end of the month, so uploads may slow down a tad. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm not moving that far away or anything, so it should only be like a day or two off. So I think it won't affect things too much, but if there is a bigger gap, that is why. Thank you all again for all of your support over these last few months. The channel is growing at a faster rate than it ever has before, and I am eternally grateful for that. Thanks once again for watching. Like and subscribe to become a cow, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.